Welcome to our holiday show for Revive Life. I'm naturopathic Dr. Joelle. With the snowflakes falling, the smell of cookies in the oven, and Christmas just around the corner, we'd like to share with you some wellness tips for the season. All too often, our schedules are full with little time to think about our health. Well, in today's show, we will give you tips on not only how to look great on the outside, but also feel great from the inside. Our guest today will help you put the bow on your holiday season. We have RMT Rose Murdoch from Ability Massage Therapy and Acupuncture Studio, who's going to share with us holiday stress-releasing massage techniques, including Indian head massage. Rebecca Cook and Anna Ravikova from Greco Lean and Fit, sharing how to look great in that holiday dress and holiday yoga stress-reducing tips. In the kitchen, we have Aaliyah Cardarelli from MyRealFoodLife.com, making allergy-free goodies, gingerbread and shortbread, which are easier on your waistline. Ramsey Saya and Suzanne Pack whipping up stress-free holiday hair ideas and closing tips for holiday hang... And we're closing with holiday hangover tips and tips for your voice for all those performers from musicians Randy Scott and Randy Young, the band that loves wellness. Now, if you haven't finished your holiday shopping, we'd love to share with you our top 10 countdown of eco-wellness friendly gifts, which you can find at revivelife.tv. Starting with gift number 10, eco-friendly cars, such as the Chevrolet Volt, which is about $40,000 US and is a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. The distance that it gets on electricity is 35 miles and its overall fuel economy rating is 60 miles per gallon. With those stats, it replaces the Toyota Prius as the most fuel efficient car in the United States. Gift number nine, eco-friendly trips such as Gorillas in the Mist. I've always liked gorillas, and this eco-friendly trip to Rwanda and Gorillas in the Mist is a trip where you will visit the gorillas and primologist Diana Fossey's memorial, she who dedicated her life to the conservation and protection of these animals. Now, um, we now have in the audience Rose Murdoch, and she'll be sharing with us. Most often people think about getting a massage only when they have a symptom or when they're in pain. But massage is a wonderful way to prevent stress. So we're going to be talking about registered massage therapy and acupuncture. So Rose, welcome to the studio. Thank, Thank you, you for joining us today. And you just shared with me some great news about what's happening with you and a clinic. Can you share with the viewers what's happening? That's right. Well, recently I've been working at a clinic called Ability Registered Massage Therapy in Canada for yes. a few years. And as of January, I'll be the new owner of the clinic. That's I'm changing exciting. the name a little <laughs> bit to talk a bit more about the acupuncture side of the clinic. Okay. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to that. So what are the main services that the Ability Center offers? Well, you have seven registered massage therapists in the studio. Um, everybody does registered massage therapy, different styles, and now we also have acupuncture as well. Oh, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can you share with our viewers then, when would somebody choose to have massage? Hopefully proactively. That's yeah. what I'd like to encourage my clients to come in once a month just for maintenance. Um, but any time is great, especially now we're talking stress in the holidays. So um, a lot of people get upper back pain, jaw pain, headaches. Yes. Um, so it's very appropriate to have massage therapy for those conditions. That's excellent. And again, to be proactive. Uh, yeah. What about acupuncture? Um, you know, a lot of us think about acupuncture for pain, but what other applications does it have? It treats a variety of conditions such as headaches, migraines, um, pain like acute pain, chronic pain, um, good for insomnia or digestive conditions. Okay. Uh, yeah. All the things that somebody might be experiencing <laughs> during the holidays. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Well, that's important. Now, um, when people start thinking about acupuncture, then they start wondering what happens during the whole process. Right. Well, I have a very nice, quiet, tranquil room. Um, okay. The lights are dim. And once I put the needles in, most people don't even notice that they're there anymore. Okay. Um, I tend to leave the client for half an hour. Um, most people fall asleep during the treatment. It's quite relaxing. Um, most people don't even notice that the needles are in. Okay. And I, I think most people want to know, do the needles actually hurt? 
They don't at all. Okay. No. <laughs> at, at all, you may feel them go into the skin, but after that, you don't feel anything. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So again, that's a, a, an important technique. And I know that um, my sister-in-law, she gets sinus headaches, and the treatment is really fantastic for that in terms of acutely and then also preventatively. Right. Yeah. Okay, um, so acupuncture is really important. And then what about uh, with respect to massage, um, this Indian head type of massage? That's, it was very interesting to right. me because I didn't know what it was. <laughs> so can you please share with the viewers what it is? Sure, it's an Ayurvedic style of treatment. Yes. Um, basically, pressure points are used on the face and scalp. Um, everything from soothing and stimulating techniques. Um, so I go along the forehead, the jawline, around the sinuses, great for relieving any sinus issue congestion okay. um, and then a lot of scalp work which a lot of people like getting their hair treated their yes. hair pulled on um, it's a messy treatment you don't <laughs> want to come in if you're going back to work um, something more relaxing but great for relieving headaches and stress okay I think that's an important point because a lot of people forget that when they're getting massage that their scalp is really important as well and uh, a few weeks ago we learned about this importance of scalp and also um, how it has to do with the uh, quality of your hair but in terms of anybody who experiences headaches of course any kind of scalp massage really increases the circulation helps to promote relaxation as well. Now I know that you offer many different types of therapy in terms of massage also. What are some of the other massages you offer? Well for holiday time the hot stone therapy is very nice, oh, yes. very My relaxing. <laughs> yeah. So the stones are actually basalt stones. They okay. come from a volcano in Hawaii so they oh. hold the heat very well. Okay. Um, most treatments are an hour, full body treatment, just relaxation. Um, also has some grounding properties to it, so people feel very calm and relaxed and soothed um, during the treatment, but well after as well. Okay. Uh, we also have a reflexologist on staff, um, so great for just tired, achy feet, but also treating the viscera, the internal organs, um, helping to tonify the body and strengthen the body. Excellent. Uh, we have cranial sacral therapy, which works on the central nervous system. Okay. Um, so great for any kind of nerve pain, back pain, headaches. Um, well, we have a variety. We have athletic therapy. We have sports therapists on staff. Um, we do muscle energy technique and myofascial release. Um, okay, so those yeah. are a lot of different therapies. Now let's just uh, put it into an application. So let's say somebody has an injury, uh, perhaps a shoulder injury. Mm -hmm. what, how would you know which technique would be the right thing for you? It's interesting, there's so many different approaches to every treatment, so it would probably depend on which therapist they ended up seeing that day. Okay. Um, but acupuncture is fantastic for pain and acute injuries. Um, Swedish massage is great just for flushing out the lactic acid, improving circulation in the body, helping to promote healing of the body. Um, muscle energy is a great technique too, um, just helps to realign the spine, any issues with um, alignment, mostly of the spine. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I am really interested in reflexology. I know that I was reading a research article and they were talking about women in high heel shoes. So as we're talking about the holidays and okay. all those fancy <laughs> shoes, uh, they were actually commenting that the area in which the arch actually puts a lot of pressure right in the middle actually has to do with the ovaries and potentially it can influence hormones and affect fertility. So you just want to remember that if you are wearing those high heel shoes, bring another option <laughs> to switch into. <laughs> um, any other tips that you can leave us with? Um, for the holidays, yes. just coming in, get a treatment, relax, take time for yourself. We have lots of great therapists Perfect. at the studio to help Wonderful. everybody feel better. And it absolutely would be a wonderful holiday gift. So thank you so much for You're joining welcome. us. And again, more information at abilityrmt.com. And coming up next, we're going to be cooking in the kitchen with Alia Cartarelli. And we're going to be whipping up some wonderful gingerbread as well as shortbread. And it's definitely for people who have allergens, who are gluten-free, who need to eat gluten-free. Uh, but of course, it's going to apply to everyone. So we're going to have lots of fun. Stay tuned. We're going to continue our countdown and we'll see you in a few minutes.